in this video we are discussing about the determination of wavelength of laser light this is the laser light here we are using the laser 650 nanometer laser 650 nanometer helium neon laser we are using this is the helium neon laser that laser wavelength already we know that wavelength but even though experimentally we have to calculate the wavelength of the laser by using a diffraction grating which one it is diffraction gate so first what is the aim the aim is to determine the wavelength of laser light by diffraction grating determine the wavelength of light by diffraction grating which color it is this color is red color red color means in the vgr colors violet to red colors are there the violet color 4000 angstrom Red color 7000 angst. 7000 or nearer to 7000 it will come. So that's why we will get the around 7000 answer also it will come. Please remember based on the color also we have to estimate the wavelength of the laser. Already in the experiment also it is written 650 nanometer laser is there. So intelligently you have to do the calculation also to get the 650. First this is a laser source. First operators here. What, uh, what is our aim? Our aim is to determine the wavelength of laser light by using the diffracting grating. Diffracting grating. So what is the grating once you have to see? This is the grating. Right? Grating means number of lights. Many number of lights. Infinite number of lines. Arranged. Lines means slits. Infinite number of slits arranged in a particular plate. That one we call it as a grating. Here you have to see there. Uh, here it is written. If you have to take the laser, now you are able to see how many 2,500 lines per inch. 2,500 lines per inch. One inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter. One inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter per inch. How many lines are recorded? So per inch 2,500 lines are recorded. So that's why many numbers, 2000 numbers, 2000 slits are there in this. Not in this is white plate. In this white plate is consist of 2000 numbers of slit. This one we call it as a grating. So the grating in the experiment name itself, diffracting grating. Once light is, uh, light is incident on the grating, the light is incident on the grating, what is going to happen? So the light is diffracted. So light is diffracted. Here you have to see the major source is this is the principal maxima. Principal maxima. Now this one is a first order maxima. First order maxima. Now this one is the second order maxima. Second order maxima. Now this one is the third order maxima. Third order maxima. And fourth order maxima and fourth order maxima and so on it will come above the range is there so those things you have to find out. so what we have to find out the order n is equal to 1 the left side order n is equal to 1 on the right side order n is equal to 2 on the right side order n is equal to 2 on the left side order n is equal to 3 on the left side order n is equal to 3 on the right side you have to see clear so what are the experiments you have to see one laser light Another one is a grating. Another one is a screen. Now you have to measure. First you have to measure. What you have to measure? The length between the screen to screen to grating. How much length is there? Approximately 70 centimeters I have to take. First you see the formula. Formula wavelength is equal to sin theta by n into n. Where n is the wavelength of the laser light. Theta is the angle of diffraction. Capital N is the number of lines per centimeter on the grating. The number of lines N is equal to 2500 is divided by 2.54. You have to do, you will get the lines per centimeter. What is small n? Small n is the order of the spectrum. How we have to calculate the sine theta? Sine theta is equal to YM is divided by D square E plus square root of ym square ym means uh, n is equal to 0 to 1 y1 
n is equal to 0 to 2 y2 n is equal to 0 to 3 y3 you have to take so that is the y it will come based on the sin theta opposite side by hypotenuse is equal to that is the value is so d square plus ym square it is coming d is the distance between the screen and grating clear now you have to observe the observations first number of lines per grating 2500 is divided by 2.54 centimeter per centimeter how many lines are there 2500 is divided by 2.54 the distance between the screen and grating how much distance we have to take here so from the screen and the grating 70 centimeters i have to take so 70 you able to take this is the 70 now so the order n is equal to first order so first order in the table first order this is the first order the left side you have to take how much distance is there so this distance you have to measure from the central spot to first order maybe five centimeters are there in the left side five centimeters are there now you have to see from the central spot to the central spot to uh, right side also you have to take it is also 5 cm is there now you find out the mean value that is 5 cm it will come so this is 5 cm is the mean value is ym right then sin theta you have to find out 5 is divided by square root of 5 square plus d value is equal to 70 square you have to do so then you find out the lambda value sin theta so what is our theta sin theta value this value you have to substitute here capital n you have to substitute from this small n is equal to what is that order one order you have to write the similar passion what is the second order from the central spot to the second uh, blinking we call it as a second order from here to here the left distance you have to measure from here to here the right distance you have to measure so these two distance you have to take the average of the left and right that will come ym it will come from that you have to calculate the sin theta value how to calculate for each and every order the lambda values you will get it so then the mean value of the lambda you have to find out initially already i told which color it is it is a red color so that's why how much it will get it is it is get around the so around 7000 6000 to 7000 angstroms we need to get it one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power of minus 8 centimeters or one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meters this is the wavelength of given laser already is there here once you have to see in this uh, experiment it is written how much wavelength is there it is written the wavelength is equal to 650 nanometer and the power is equal to 5 milliwatt operating voltage is equal to 3 to 12 vdc operating current is equal to 100 milliamps the lifespan of this uh, laser diode is this diode is a laser diode so maybe whether it may be helium neon laser diode like this we have to calculate so this is very very easy important experiment also how we have to get the diffraction pattern the diffraction pattern once you have to see here the diffraction pattern it will come in your theory there is a principal maxima it will come again subsequent minimas and then primary principal maxima and and subsequent minimas and this primary so principal maxima this is a principal maxima that order n is equal to zero this order n is equal to one this order n is equal to one and again subsequent minimas and again so one more maxima it will come that order is equal to n is equal to two so a subsequent minimas and one more it will come that order is equal to n to so and so many maximas we will get theoretically also it is proved and experimentally also we have to find so this is the way we have to uh, calculate the wavelength of laser light right now i hope you understand well so please share and subscribe our youtube channel thank you comment also